Guys, Vice is in the game, and we have the one and only Ardis here to quickly go through his thoughts and opinions on the new agent. Ardis, welcome in, mate. It's nice to see you. How you been? Hey, doing good. How are yeah, you doing? Doing good. I've been um, watching the champs games, and I have a feeling that you've been uh, taken over by the Chinese fan base. Talk to me. I love China. What, what can I talk say? To, talk I to me China. about the region, bro. What, what's, what's happened? I mean, I said the Heretics in China were the best teams in, the, in Valorant at the start of the event. So both the Spanish and Chinese flag, and both the teams into the final. So both the teams I supported won. So. I just say they're done better than that because I just say that. I just. I remember this. a tweet where you said Heretics is going to win it all. They went to finals. They, uh, they went to two finals and they were not. So I'm blaming them. Uh, they, uh, I thought they were going to win it all. They didn't even win it. And what about Trace? Were you surprised about Trace over Champs? At least for group stages. Yeah, I thought they'd do better. I thought they'd do better, honestly. But yeah, I think FPX surprised me the most. I expected FPX to do a lot, but they they did not. Um, and EDG just didn't want to EDG do, so yeah. It was, it was honestly a good show from China. What do you think about the Kang Kang drip as well, from uh, from his MVP status? What do you think about... I don't think he deserved MVP. I think I think Chi Chi should have got MVP. But, yeah, I think Chi Chi should have got MVP for the whole event. But Kang Kang should have got MVP for the match. But So I, I don't know how they... If they've done it by match, then Kang Kang obviously should get it. But if they've done it by the whole event, Chi Chi should win the MVP. Interesting. So you think Chi Chi should have got the uh, the the bracelet drip? Yeah, I think I think this, the, he that, he was like the best player this whole event. If we got all the whole event, he was the best player. Oh, interesting. I like that. But champs is done now. We have uh, ascension and game changes all coming up. But before that, we have the newest agent advice now. Agent reveals, they're always like uh, at the end of the big tournament and they're always very, very hype. But I want to find out how hype you are about the new agent. Are you excited? Do you think that from what you know already, do you think that they're going to be played a lot? Do you think they're not going to be played? I think it'll get some playtime from what I saw. I think it'll be like any new agent where everyone like tries to experiment at the start. Like for the first, first couple of weeks, it'll be very, like super experimental and then people on Ranked will realise if it's good or not. I think most of the time you can gauge on Ranked if, it's gonna, if an agent's going to be good or not. And I, I, yeah, and I think we'll see. If a lot of people play it on Ranked, then I think it'll be good. They'll be most likely getting played in Pro Play. All right, well, let's jump into game uh, and just give me your first thoughts about uh, the loading screen, Vice, and then just take me through her abilities pretty much, very briefly. Okay, now I'm in the game. Let's see what the abilities are like. So we have C, which is... Let's see, detonate. Okay, this is like drops like bar block. Okay, and it slows you. Okay, this is nice. I wonder what the range on this is. Like, does this go across map or no? It's actually quite far. But one thing to note as well, I don't know if it's an intentional bug, but if you put the uh, the vines down and you strafe left and right, left and right, you actually don't take any damage. You sure you left and right? Oh, okay, yeah, like... yeah. If you like go left and right, apparently you don't take damage. Ah. Okay, that's weird. I'm just seeing how far I can go, honestly. And it looks pretty... Like, it looks like... It actually goes cross map. Yeah, I think mean, this ability will be nice, like on the on like the little choke points where you know the gun entry. Uh, what else do we have? Q. Alright, this is the wall. I saw, I saw a little bit of this. Of, uh, I saw a little bit of this on Twitter. So that could be, could be bougie. Someone crosses over and then they activate. Yeah, I don't think it's good. Uh, e. Like a flash. Now the flash is super super important because you can you can pop it pop, pop it down and pick it up mid round. You have to activate the flash yourself by looking at it and pressing it like a cipher cage. But also you can oh, pop it wait, through can... walls. So that's that's where it's gonna get like fun to use because you can either pop it on the wall you're looking at, or you can right click and pop it through the wall. Yeah, I'm, I'm putting it out through the wall. It's like actually kind of like, like this could be if you find like the right angles, this could be insane. But it can be shot, uh, but it's it's fairly difficult Once to see. It... Yeah, I think this could be like a start the round flash. Honestly, I think I think like there might be people places where you put this to start the round, and if the orb comes here, you just like you put the orb back on the angle. So I think. Yeah. Uh, I'll activate it. Oh my god! It's actually a very nice flash, right? It's actually kind of uh, pretty. No, this is insane, actually. Yeah, the flash is insane. And the ult. 
Okay, yeah, it's like a kill. Yeah, it's basically a kill drill, yeah. I think. So it's like a it's radius. Like a kill drill and anyone, yeah, and anyone in the. Okay, that's. Okay. Yeah. You mentioned to me earlier on how you think that the the alt should be. The alt should be global, right? You th you think that that would be a. I think thing? I think the alt should be global. I think like the alt like this alt's a bit too short. I think. Maybe it's a good thing though, but I don't know. Like for me right now, it looks a bit underwhelming. Like imagine if. But um, I don't know. How, do you know how long it is? Like to get. Um, I think to it's get... like five or six seconds where you can't use your primary. Yeah. See, like, it's, like for me, I should be global than if it's that long. But even a bit. Imagine right. Imagine popping the alt globally, and after a three second like wind up time, roots come from underneath every enemy, and it roots their primary weapon for five seconds, but globally. Now that would be a good, a good alt. I don't think that'd be a good ult. Like, like once you ult there, let me see. Once you ult, it like a hundred, but it's a hundred percent stays, right? Yeah. Like even if you die, the ult still pops off. Like, yeah, yeah. It's, this might be good, like a defensive ult actually as well. Now I think about it. I mean, like if you're on site and you see them coming, like I say, like thirty seconds left, you just boom, pop it all. There's literally nothing they can do. Of course, remember though that you can still use jet knives, neon ult. You can still use the ults while in it. It's only ah, primary weapon. Okay. It's only primary. I mean, weapons. still, I think it's still. This could be. A, this might be a better defensive ult, honestly. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, it'll be weird to see how this plays out. Just one thing again about the flash as well. I think this is one of the first flashes where it's kind of um, self-sufficient flash because you know how like you have gecko flashes, phoenix flashes. It takes time to re-equip your weapon. You can pop this flash while your weapon is equipped. I think that's going to be the biggest thing because imagine flashing someone, right, and having no equip time for a weapon. I mean, I can already see what, I'm, what like the plays I'm gonna do in ranked. Like one's gonna be like this one along, where I just come here along, I hold the angle, I get off the angle, I, I instantly flash and repeat. Like this is gonna, like this is gonna be a play I'm gonna try doing ranked. There. I'm pretty sure this will work already. So I'm, I, I, mean, I think this flash will be very good. It's all very good, honestly. Are you gonna? Especially the fact that you can re-equip it. Like one, like if they don't come to your bomb site, you can just take it yeah. back, which is nice. Are you gonna play Vice on stream? Eh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it a go. See what people are saying. But oh, this actually looks insane. There's some walls I'm seeing. Like this is, I don't know. This this agent looks. What fun, about garage? Know. Go to garage and have a look. Are there are there any cool things you could do there where you could maybe pop a flash where they're not going to be able to clear it? Because I keep on thinking you could put a flash above the doors, right? Because even yeah. even flashes affect you from behind. Like they ha they give you like a little bit of a glare, right? So you could pop it above the door when they run in. You pop the flash. You're not gonna fully blind them, but you're gonna give them that touch of a flash. That then you could peek them and kill them. Do I? I mean, to me, this looks insane. Like, it's like it's, I think this flash could be very good for reclear, uh, reclear angles. Like you set it for like garage, or you set it for like uh, whatever angle you want to reclear, like mid game. Like let's say like as a team, they'll like they'll leave a certain area yeah. open, like garage. They'll leave like a tripwire there or like whatever, and as soon as the team takes the tripwire, they'll just re they'll flash and just reclear as a team. I can see this agent actually being quite good, to be honest. It's actually better than my initial thoughts. Like I initially didn't think this would be that good. Could you imagine anyone on our team playing it? Potentially Sagetsu? Uh, yeah, I think Sagetsu would be really good at this. I think Sagetsu is this is like a perfect age for Sagetsu. Honestly, I've completely forgot about the phones. Um I think they have the same trajectory as um a Killjoy Molly, maybe? Maybe even further. I think from... Do they see the thorns or no? I, be I believe like... they're invisible. But you have to detonate them yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like... Yeah, okay. You have to detonate them I yourself. I mean, honestly... I mean, the slow isn't that good. But... It's not like really a slow, you know? It's like... It's like 90% movement speed. An annoyance. No? I think it's like annoyance. Like it's like a, it's it's gonna get in the oh, way. Yeah. It's gonna get in the way, and it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna. Piss like you I mean, off. I mean, it might be like a double one, you know, where you put like two at the same spot. Yeah. I don't know if it's double damage or not. Uh, I guess it should be. You have two. But I feel like areas like on Haven, on A short, or even in Garage, could be so sick to slow down a play. But imagine doing that with the Sage slow as well. Yeah. Like you're, you. I think it's like super unique. I don't. know. So it's be good on attack where you can like slow down a choke wing with it so they can't rotate in as much. Yeah, and this is what I mean. I think it's going to be a super cool agent to actually bring into the game because I think you haven't really got anything like it yet, you know? We had save slot lineups. I wonder if they work here. Where was it? Was it this? 
Wait, I could have a lineup already. Oh my god, I've got a lineup and the game hasn't even came out yet. Like this. Hey, I don't know. I, this, I want to see how it's like in game, to be honest. Because running around, it feels okay. Yeah. But I don't know if it'll be better than Kayo, if I'm honest. Because I think Kayo's ult is better. I think Kayo's flash. Uh, it's, I think it's even. I think both are good. Molly, I think, is a little bit better than the. Um, what is it? Than the, than the slow. And I think. What was what's a lot of stability? Knife and. Knife and wall. And I think the 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 knife just gets a little bit more info than the but wall. It's also funny how you're comparing you're comparing Vice to KO when Vice is actually a sentinel. That's already giving off like it's gonna be a more aggressive sentinel vibe. This this doesn't feel like a sentinel no? to me. I don't feel. I don't Did think Deadlock so. feel like um, a sentinel to you. No. <laughs> <laughs> actually actually yeah, yeah. Sentinel like I, I feel like Deadlock would help hold an area down on its own. Like without no yeah. help. This, I feel like, is like a kind of like a jack of all trades, like I think, where it's like kind of good at everything. Like, I don't think this this has like a how do I say it? Like, I feel like if you hit uh, if you hit a, a, a rise site, I think if you really hit it hard, you could able you should be able to take it. Yeah. But like, if you hit like a killjoy site or like a, a cipher site, you're not taking that. Nah. In my opinion, nah, nah, anyway. But we'll, we'll see. All right. Well, you've had an, you've had enough of a player, but I think with Vice, I feel like I'm going to show you some videos. And some clips from creators that have already played Vice, including myself. And just to kind of give you a feel of how Vice is being played. And kind of, at least you can see some abilities in action. Okay, Ardis, go through some of these clips now. Okay, we'll start with the first one. And just let me know what you think about the clips. So some creators from the community have already played Vice before her release tomorrow. Um, including myself. So, yeah, let's take a look at some of the clips. I'm expecting some clips from you, from, from you Marcus. Ah, uh, there's only only there's only two. Only okay, only two. Okay, only two. Only two for me. Right, let's watch the let's watch the first one. So this is uh yeah. this is Keo. Got zero obligation. You all wall set. Punching for Okay, wait. There's a wall here. How can I do this? Wait, I have an idea. I go here. I cross the wall. I'm blocked off. Boom! That was crazy. Yeah, have wait. a wall. Wall trip. So notice how he walls to keep himself safe when the vice Wait, wall goes up. <laughs> I'm gonna crash out. Bro. I'm not gonna lie, it was good if he would have stayed in and res his teammate. If he would have like walled himself up, triggered the wall and went back, and then res his teammate, because it's a guaranteed res. Like it's a guaranteed res where you can't die. Wait, true. So you could actually use the vice wards to like to put yourself into a position where you can then be safe for a bit, I guess. Yeah, like I don't like what he done because he gets one in like a good in a normal situation, he'll get one and die normally, like against good people. And then yeah. So I, I don't know. I, I just expect I expect him to just get one and die. Right, let's have a look at this next one. So here is the next one. Shit. Get it to zero seconds and then Oh, Wait, actually, this is good, you know. You see that? So he puts the... Uh, what, what triggers the wall in the first place? I want to know. What triggers the wall to go up? One of them must run over it, or... Do you know what I mean? The wall, like, the wall goes up. Oh, the Yuri TP'd away. Yuri TP'd away. He, Yuri ran ah. away. Then he saw the wall and TP'd away. Okay. I feel like and he's then... <laughs> so lucky though. I feel like he's so lucky to get one there though. Yeah, but I mean, this is this is kind of like a nice way to use the wall, I suppose. But I mean, lucky to get one, probably very lucky to get four. I mean, like in reality, you should get one at best, and normally you should just die. Yeah. If four people are looking at you, you should just instantly die. I don't know. This is like this is probably the worst one I've seen so far though. The worst clip. I'm gonna send you another one. Now this one again is the use of the wall, but working against you. Have a look at this bomb. Wait, what? Wait. Oh. So it's like... Wait, was that his wall or wait, what? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Wait, is it his wall though? No, I think it was the enemy wall. I think the enemy wall's put it. That's actually insane. I think he's ran across. Triggered the wall. Yeah. He triggered the wall. He triggered. Oh, but that's actually insane then. 
What do you think about the what do you think about the duration of the war? Do you think it's like a decent duration or you think it should be longer or shorter? I mean I need to see how it plays out, but right now it looks a bit different. It looks a bit weird. It looks a bit weird the fact that you just lose your gun for this long. For me, I don't know. It just looks a bit I don't know. It's strange to me. Like, I don't know, like I'll see how it plays out, but like I, I only found out recently that it's an ultimate ult. Like it's a it's a worldwide ult. I thought it was like harder when it's people near you. But now when I, I saw I saw someone online say it's literally the whole map goes up line. No, 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 no. It's an area. It's an area, so, I swear. Yeah, yeah. So, you know... I um, thought it was an area. Someone online said it was the whole map. No, no, no. You know when Harbour does his ult and it, like, starts off near him, the circle, if that makes sense? It's like that, but you're in the centre of the circle. So, where you ult, there's That's a massive so I, I thought it was like, that's someone didn't convince me on Twitter. It was like, oh, it's like a well... I don't know. Okay. If it's like that, then it's good. But if it's not... Wait, imagine then... if it is global, though. That would that's actually I mean, be a yeah. very good change. Like, imagine you'd be, like, as a sensor, I thought... I think it should be, though. It should be, I mean, like... Yeah. Yeah, um, maybe. No, no, maybe. The way I see it, it should be, but maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Right, let me get the last two clips. Now, these are my clips, and these are the, this is this is the best way on Haven. I have this is the best way on Haven I have found to use the wall. Not me. What am I here? What am I here? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, this is actually Ooh. So notice how the wall wasn't put at like Oh my. I mean, look, wow. when you when you watch it back, the wall probably isn't in the greatest spot, right? Because I didn't want to put it directly at the entrance, but I, I suppose if someone crosses the wall, they the teammates can then flood in behind it. I mean, I think it's fine to be honest because you cut them out. Normally 20, I guess like the best the wall's like best for like a jet, like if they break the wall and then they're stuck. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if these are subject, I don't even know. Uh, then then yes. Neon Neon, so yeah. So Neon like Neon goes out it's solo and then I think it was good. So how how do you think? Did they need a wall boost on it or no? Like can you wall boost nah, the wall? Uh maybe. I think it's too thin. Ah, okay. Because that how, like, how you, do you do that'll be insane. How do you think it's gonna be played out though when it comes to like uh Julius pushing to a site? Do you think that you're gonna have to force the wall before you go, similar to the trips or like a cipher trips because it, 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 it's a decent amount of time. I think it's a too unique of a situation because um, I just don't see it like replacing Harbour or I mean, uh, what is this like cipher or killjoy? Mm -hmm. And then, what about deadlock? Maybe deadlock. I can see deadlock. I like. I don't see KO even though it has a flash. Like I don't really see it mm. because like it's like it's like a KO replacement, but it's just not good enough. I don't think. Okay. But I don't know. Okay. It's like yeah, it's okay. Right, one more clip. Okay, check this one out. Wait, you, and you can peek with the flash, right? Yeah, so I'm pretty sure I don't pop the flash, but when the wall drops, I could have popped the flash. Wait, wait. So you got like a flash there, you pop it. Yeah, imagine you flash when the wall team. drops. <laughs> Oh, you know, you didn't do that. I thought you flashed full you flash your own team. Now, I don't even know if I popped the flash in this situation. I can't yeah. fully remember. But the flash is going to be one of the best pieces of kit, I think, from 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 her from her utility. The flash does look good. Is it like a one time you saw, like an ultimate time? Or... Mate, this this flash is crackers because you can you can place it on either side of the wall, right? But then also you can. Flash, so you have to you have to activate the flash yourself, and then you can instantly pick it up, and you can then redeploy it in twenty seconds. That's kind of good then. Well, like if I insta put it, can they shoot it and break it or no? They can. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah. you have to put it in position. Like before round, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I see well, you then... like Haven somewhere, maybe to be honest. Yeah, no, I, I think Haven might be a good map for for her. But yeah, they're the they're the best clips I could find so far. So shout out to those those creators, minus myself. So overall thoughts, Ardis, about Vice so far. It's a good agent. I don't know if it'll break the meta, but it, it'll, uh, it'll definitely be fun and ranked. I think it'll be like a cl uh, clove. Like the odd team will play it in pro play, but in like reality, it won't really get like a lot of game time. Like it'll be like one or two teams will try it, like experiment with it. I don't think it's a bad agent. But I don't think it's a good agent either. So. I think it's like a balance. I think it's just a fair agent that we'll get. Like, we'll see some game time, but won't be like a must pick, I don't think. Well, there you have it, guys. They are Ardis' thoughts on Vice. He thinks it might not be a must pick, but he thinks that we will be seeing it in games. Mm, 
not too often, but sometimes. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Ardis, I appreciate you, mate. And uh, we'll bless. see you in the next video.